Classic Boat fans and welcome to the first boat video on Classic Register's channel. This is Longana. She's a 42 foot timber bridge deck cruiser built in 1951 that belonged to my father. I've always had an obsession with old boats, particularly timber boats. And I think Longana has some of the best lines of the remaining Classic Bridge deck cruisers in Australia. Starting with a bit of history, she was built by the Pool and Steel Shipyard in Balmain, Sydney, who were known for building corvettes and similar craft for the Second World War. And Longana spent a lot of time, particularly around the Pitwater area, in her first 20 years, which we'll cover in more detail in another episode. But along with hosting Roden Cutler on many occasions, she was also one of three coastal patrol boats that escorted the historic crate vessel from Brisbane to Sydney for Anzac Day in 1964. Some of the documentation I have states that Longana was designed by a World War II naval purser who was influenced by the low draft designs of the military ships that had to operate in the shallow reef waters of the South Pacific and she's named after the village of Longana just east of Vanuatu. And you can certainly see the military styling come through in Longana with almost an aircraft carrier like extended front bow and a low draft for her size which has proven very practical. So far as I'm aware, Longana has a couple of sister vessels also built by Pool and Steel and Newport Marine Services after the war. That shown on screen is one of her smaller sister vessels built in 1948, which we spotted in an ad from the 1990s and haven't seen it since. And then there's the larger, well-known 47-foot Leone B built in 1959, which is still around Sydney. So we'll come down and have a look at some of the features inside the boat. So down this end of the boat here, the back end of the boat, it does need redoing. We've got a double bed space here, a single bed space on this side. Lots of storage either side as well, a couple of wardrobes. This was all sort of fit out, but not finished. Um, all new windows, teak window frames and things. Uh, right at the back here above the rudder, there's a heap of storage, so we had a lot of reinforcement put in the back of the boat here and a lot of storage in the back there. So there's plenty of room for things like water tanks and we'll do some upgrades and things with storage later on. So coming up into the main cabin here, the cabin is fairly bare, but it's had a lot of work done to it uh, with really nice mahogany trim. So you can see on the roof here, we've had the mahogany trims put on. A lot of work's been done around the cabinetry and the paneling as well, mahogany Sides. We didn't want it to be too dark in here, so uh, so Dad had that done in, in white panelling and mahogany trim. It's all been done by Fine Lines Marine at Warrywood, and they did an amazing job, and we will get them to continue this. Uh, they pretty much finished all of the helm. There's obviously trim work to finish off around these bits here, and I'll show you in a minute some of the, the mahogany timber they've cut for that. Uh, and then we've got the nice stairs and things put in as well. And so this panel here, this instrument panel, I've got a replica panel that I've ordered from overseas, which is gonna go up on the bridge deck. And here it is, that Yanmar panel that's just arrived. Looking forward to get this on the bridge deck. And so fitted to the boat, we have a 160 horsepower Yanmar turbo diesel, which was installed in around 2005, 2006, and it's been a really good engine. Um, plenty of power for the speed you need to go in this boat. The boat was originally designed to be a twin motor boat, I'm told. Uh, however, the single engine seems to be perfectly sufficient. Uh, so this cupboard was actually put here because the exhaust system goes up, so it hides the exhaust system that comes out behind the engine here. But down the sides and in both sides, we've got heaps of storage, which is great. Plenty of things in there um, we can keep. And you can see the exhaust system on the left there going through the side of the boat. And so this is great storage of things like fenders and life jackets and that. And on this side, it's a similar story. We've got plenty of storage. So ropes there, and we've got the house batteries there and the engine batteries on the left. So you can see two house batteries and two additional batteries on the left. And then I'll show you behind the ladder here, which is where the inverter sits. So that's where we've got all the inverters set up. 
the batteries and the main switches and things. And I believe below deck we've got a 200 litre fuel tank as well. And all of the switching's been recently done, all new here, you can see it's so neat. And also when you need to access behind the panel here, this whole thing's on hinge. So you've got access to all of the wiring and the hydraulics as well. Okay, so we'll head down into the front of the boat here, front cabin, kitchen and toilet area. So all the trim work pretty much is done in this area. It's just very messy, I apologize. So got all the really nice mahogany uh, bits and pieces uh, that are set up, beautiful trims on the doors and things. So plenty of kitchen, cupboard storage. Um, coming around to the front here, still needs to clean out. It's been a bit of mold because it's been so tightly closed up, but you have two bunks here. Basically, this would be more of a child's bunk. It's um, a bit shorter because of the kitchen. We extended the kitchen a bit. So you've sort of got a child's bunk here. You could probably do a higher bunk as well if you want to have a full length bunk there. And then we've got two, like two plus meter bunks uh, that could go here, but the base one here obviously is, is more than two meters. Uh, we've got storage underneath those, which is really handy. So life jackets and things can go in there. Um, all the front of this boat's been refastened and repainted here. So this is looking really nice. Uh, looking into the toilet area here, and again, you've got the mahogany trims, which are beautifully done. Uh, I really like what they've done with the um, with the hull on the inside. So the strips of all the planking on the inside there, I'd like to get that done in the back of the boat as well as at the front bow here or something similar um, to make sure that we have consistency. But it's just about done in terms of trims. There's a bit of finishing off needed. And of course, then just fitting out things like furniture and mattresses and that. So there's a lot of finishing off needed for this boat, but up here on the bridge deck, we've got the steering connected. We need to install new instruments and throttle up here because when driving this boat, this is where you want to be with the best visibility. So we got her up here on this miserable day. The 
noisy in here. In the background is my little handmade, homemade uh, outboard motor. But yeah, this is her new home. She's got a nice old yacht behind her there, you'll be able to see in a second. There's a nice old timber 40 foot there or something. She's all covered up with very, very good storm covers that protect all the teak timber from the sun rays. Uh, does a great job. That teak work is many years old, over five years old, possibly even eight years old, and it's held up really well. It does need redoing now, um, but it's held up pretty well. Starting to get a little hairline fractures and things along the timber hull. You might be able to see it in the video here. Um, so at some point we are going to have to redo the hull, uh, but not too bad. It'll probably last another season and then we'll get that done uh, and we'll start to, yeah, do a bit of work on the, on the teak bit by bit. Uh, we've got to get the handrails finished and varnished as well. So it's going to be a big project, a lot of time and a lot of work still needed to the interior. So. That we'll show you in another video where we're up to and what needs to be done. But all this canopy is new. The biggest challenge we're finding now is keeping the birds off it out here. Because when it was at a marina, it had no problem with the birds. But now, of course, lots of birds around.